Hallelujah. I was waiting for a resort. And what is a resort? If we say the rain will wipe this epidemic out of the, the earth, it must start from Wuhan, China, where the whole thing started. Right now, it is raining there. So if you have people there where the corona barrel started, call them. They will tell you it's raining. And uh, this is not supposed to happen in that place at this season, but it is raining. Yes. And what is the purpose? To wipe out this epidemic called Corona what? Coronavirus. Whether you come in contact with the rain or not, that does not matter. If there's any story about that epidemic, coronavirus, it's a past tense event. It has become a past tense event. You can, you can, you can still be hearing some story, this, that, 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 that. But the Lord said to me, the rain will fall, a shower of rain. You know, it's not normal in Nigeria for the rain to fall at this time. How many, many communities the rain fell yesterday? Even in the night in Nigeria. I talk of Peru. Peru, read the history of Peru. It was raining yesterday because the Lord said, if the Lord said, who can say no? So that's it. Thank you. So thank you, we are here today. You know what it means? For you to go there by yourself, you will get ordinary tap water. You understand? You just leave now and go there by yourself, you get ordinary tap water. If you go there, let's say, if you decide I'm going, did that carry God along? Our relationship with the law is founded upon his mercy. Our relationship with the law is founded upon what? Upon his mercy. Have mercy upon me. You need mercy. You need mercy. You need mercy. Let this continue to go on and on in your heart. On and on in your heart. If you want to receive God's mercy, continue to ask for God's mercy. If you will not receive the judgment you truly deserve, you know the judgment you truly deserve? Huh? Ask for what? God's mercy. If you do not want to receive the judgment you truly deserve. You know where you are coming from. And you know the nature of job you are doing. You know the, re the relationship you keep. Tell your neighbor, you know where you are coming from. Tell your neighbor. You know the kind of job you are doing. And you know the relationship you keep. So right now, begin to ask for God's mercy. If you do not want to receive the judgment you truly were. What is the 
judgment they truly desire. It is time right now. Listen to me. Try to understand what I'm saying. Tell, ask your neighbor again. Ask your neighbor. You know where you are coming from. You know the kind of relationship you keep. You know the kind of joy you do. So, and you want to come here to ask him, I mean, to get the favor, the healing, the this, with the nature of job, the nature of life you live, the, the, where you are coming from. Our relationship with God is founded upon God's word. Say, have mercy upon me. Son of David. This is what you did. You need mercy of God. As if you do not want to receive the judgment you truly desire. Tell your neighbor, if you do not want to receive the judgment you truly desire, ask for mercy of God. Since yesterday, when the Lord brought the revelation about rain, that this rain will wipe all this uh, epidemic coronavirus. And I say, ha, ah, if that is the case, my people, they are Thomas, they must see. If they don't see, they cannot believe. I said to the Lord, this thing should happen in where the coronavirus started, which a place called Wahoo, China. Say, Wahoo. So right now, it is rainy there. So glory be to God. And it will continue to the end of this week. To close it up, it will continue. It must go around the world. Can you say since yesterday that fear is like a, you don't feel any fear again? If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. Because if not God, you will have started greeting your brother with leg. <laughs> okay, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 